Hello Trombones and welcome to song number 91, The Banana Boat Song. This is the last song you'll need to play to earn your red belt in band karate. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to start with is first thing, we're going to take our tempo here and make it 70. Then we're also going to mute the background music. Next, we're going to go just the first two measures of the song. So in the first two measures, I see four half notes. And how many beats is a half note? Two beats long. So um, let's just uh, play the first two measures. We know how to play half notes. They're two beats each. Our first note's a high B flat first position. And then it goes down to an F in first, up to a high G in fourth position, and then back to an F in first position. So starting a song on a high B flat, not too easy. It's kind of tricky. So to get yourselves ready, make sure you're, you're just try to play high B flat by itself a few times. So ready? Here's high B flat. And here's F. Back to high B flat. So make sure when you start the song in a high B flat, we have our embouchure ready to go to make sure it's a small hole and we have our fast air ready to go to get a high B flat uh, sounding very nice from the very beginning. So another thing we can do is think about what a high B flat sounds like before you play it. You want to sing the note to yourself in your head. Just really think about it. And then before you play, make sure we have a small hole and fast air ready to go. Here's what a high B flat sounds like one more time. And I took some time to think about the note before I played it, and I sang it to self in my head. Now let's play the first two measures of the song. Ready, go. <laughs> I feel very confident about that. Four half notes and they're two beats long each. Let's move on to the next two measures of the song. I'm looking at the rhythm. I see ta's, I see tt's, and one half note. Let's read the rhythm. <clears throat> read with me. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta, ta. Now it's very important this in this song that when you see TTs, you have to play the rhythms as TTs. T, 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 T. Make sure your TTs are not just Ta's. If it's a TT, it has to be a TT. Example, here are two low B flats that are Ta's. Here are two low B flats that are a TT. So if you say the word TT, that's the rhythm you should be playing too. Or ta, ta, t, t. There is a difference. And make sure in this song, when you see a TT, it has to be a TT. Let's go over our notes for measures three and four. We have low B flat in first, another low B flat in first position. We go up to a D in fourth. This TT here, each note is D in fourth position. Our next TT is a C in sixth position, then a low B flat in first, and then our TA here is a C in sixth position, and our half note is a low B flat in first position. Now let's play measures three and four. Ready, go. <laughs> I'm sure you noticed. In measure four, going six, one, six, one, you have to move your slide your slide pretty quickly. Six, one, six, one. So make sure your slide is nice and oiled and it's not getting stuck, and that measure shouldn't be too hard for you to do. Let's go back to the beginning and play the first four measures. Remember, we're starting a high B flat. Get your mouth ready to go, your embouchure, small hole, fast air. Sing the note to yourself in your head before you play it. Ready, go. Now 
let's go to the next two measures. Let's look at the rhythms. I see TTs, I see TAs, and I see one half note, which we know is two beats long. You might look at the very first rhythm and think, well, that's a tika tika, isn't it? There's four notes grouped together. No, it's a TT. It's actually two TTs. It's TT, TT. Usually, we see TTs just grouped into two notes. This TT is grouped into four. So it's TT, TT, not tika tika. They are different. These are, there are only TTs in the song, no tika tikas. So, our rhythm, uh, let's read our rhythm for the next two measures. Read with me. T, 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 Ta, T, T, Ta, Ta, Ta. Now let's go over our notes. <clears throat> our first TT, each note is a low B flat in first position. Our next TT, each note is a D in fourth position. Our Ta is an F in first position. The next TT, each note is a D in fourth position. And then this ta is an E flat in third. We go up to a high G in fourth position and down to an F in first position. As you go, remember trombones, as we get to as we go up to higher notes, we have to get our small hole and fast air smaller and faster as the notes get higher and higher. And the exact opposite for when they get lower and lower. More open hole, slower air. Let's play these two measures. Ready? And when I got to that high G right here, I didn't have quite enough small enough hole or fast enough air, and I had a little crack on it. But I didn't let it make me, I didn't let it mess me up. I kept going and I, picked, and I made sure that the F after that was correct. Let's keep going. I'm going to go down to the second line. Um, actually, let's go back and let's redo, let's play the whole first line. I'm going to refresh my page really quick. And now let's play the whole first line of the Banana Boat song. Make sure your tempo is at 70. Sometimes if you refresh your page, it'll make the tempo go back to what the original is. And I think we should play almost all of our songs at 70. Let's play the whole first line. Ready and go. Now we're in line two. I'm looking at the first two measures of line number two, measure seven and measure eight, right here. Measure seven and measure eight. I want you to compare measures seven and eight to measure three and four. Here's measure three and here's measure four. What do you notice that's maybe the same, similar, or if there's anything that's different? What I notice is that measures seven and eight and measures three and four are the exact same thing. So I've already played measures seven and eight, so let's play them. Ready, go. <laughs> Fantastic. Now we're on measures nine and 10. I want you to compare measures nine and 10 to measures five and six. So here's measure nine, and here's measure 10. And over here is measure five and measure six. Compare those measures to each other. Do you see something that's the same, something that's similar, or something that's different? What I see are some things that are the exact same. And I see one thing that's similar, but it's a little different. The thing that's exactly the same is this measure here. Measure 9 and measure 5 are the exact same thing. T, 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 Ta, T, 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 Ta, T, T. Two B flats, 
two Ds, an F, and then two Ds. It's the same thing. Now, measure nine, sorry, measure 10, and measure six are similar. This measure here, measure six, has E flat, G, and F. Measure 10 has E flat, G, and F, except the rhythm is different. This is ta, 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 and here it's ti, ti, ta, ta. This note's a ta, and down here it's a ti, ti. There's your difference. Other than that, you've technically already played these two measures as well. But let's just read the rhythm really quick. Read with me. T T T ta T T T T ta ta. And the notes we've already gone over earlier in the video. So if you need to remind yourself of the notes trombones, pause the video, go back to where I, to where I teach measure, measures five and six, so you can remind yourself of the notes. They are the exact same thing, so you should know them. Here we go. Now let's play these two measures. Ready, go. A lot of TTs in these two measures, and make sure the TTs are TTs. We have to play the right rhythms. Now, <clears throat> look at the last two measures here of the second line, which are measures 11 and 12. Compare them to measures 7 and 8 and measures 3 and 4. What do you notice that's the same? Something that's similar, or even something that's different? What I notice is that those two measures are the exact same thing. So measures three and four, measures seven and eight, and measures 11 and 12 are the exact same thing. So I've already played them, so let's just play them. Ready and go. Fantastic trombones. Now, there's going to be one thing more that we need to do. That's actually not the end of the song. So you see this phrase here above the last few notes, above our last measure. It says DC al fine. And this is like a new vocabulary word for us, a new musical term. And if we were in our classroom, we would put it up on our word wall. So the DC al fine is Italian, as most of our musical terms are that we've been learning. And we need to take that Italian and translate it into English. What DC al fine means is to go back to the beginning and then go to the end. So DC al fine means from the beginning to the end. So once you play this last note, this low B flat in first position, you have to go back to the beginning and then go to the end. Well, where's the end? Well, it does say DC al fine, and I see another fine here. So after I play the last note, I go back to the beginning and I play the music until I get to the last note, and then it'll say fine, and that's the end. We also know that's the end, because right here is our double bar line, which tells us it's the end of the song. So now there's one last thing we need to do, and that's play the whole song. I'm going to refresh my page one more time. And when it's done refreshing, we're going to play the whole song. We'll play the whole first line. We'll play the whole second line. We'll go back to the beginning because of the DC al fine. And we'll go from the beginning and go to the fine. And then we'll be done. I'm going to make sure my tempo is still at 70. And here we go, trombones. We're going to go from the beginning and play the whole song. Remember, for our first note, high B flat, small hole, fast air. Think about the note. Sing the note to yourself in your head before you play it. Ready, go. <laughs> Thank you.
trombones, and that's how we play your Red Belt Test song, number 91, the Banana Boat song. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or send me a message. Bye, trombones.